Layla Ali's mother is Veronica Porsche, Muhammad Ali's third wife. A college graduate with a business degree, Layla knocked out her opponent in the first round of her first bout in 1999. Prior to her withdrawal from the ring to give birth to her first child, her record stood at 24 wins from 24 bouts, 21 by knockout. After that very first victory over April Fowler, she saw off Shadina Pennybaker, Nicola Armstrong, Crystal Arcand, Karen Bill, Christina King, Marjorie Jones, Kendra Lenhart, and Christine Robinson. Parallels drawn between the lives of the super middleweight and her father were inevitable, but not always appropriate. Some fans started to argue for a showdown between Layla Ali and Jackie Frazier Lyde, daughter of Joe Frazier, or George Foreman's daughter, Frida Foreman. Frazier Lyde, a lawyer, embarked on a boxing career at the age of 38 and went on to fight 14 bouts with only one loss, winning world super middleweight, light heavyweight and heavyweight titles. Frida Foreman took up boxing, perhaps inspired by Ali and Frazier Lyde, but left the ring after five wins and one loss. Ali and Frazier Lyde marked themselves out in the world of women's boxing and were 8-0 and, and 7-0 and when they finally faced each other in the first pay-per-view television coverage to be headlined by women. The media archly dubbed it Ali Frazier 4, and in June 2001, Ali won an eighth-round decision in Verona, New York. Ali's next fight was in June 2002 against Chevelle Williams. In August, she won the IBA title by knocking out Suzette Taylor. In November, she claimed the WIBA and IWBF titles in eight rounds against Valerie Mafoud in Las Vegas. She continued to compile a record of wins and took the IWBF light heavyweight title by defeating Gwendolyn O'Neill in 2004. In 2005, she won the WBC title, pounding Erin Tuffell in one of the most bruising women's encounters to date. At the end of January 2007, she was in South Africa to meet O'Neill once again. I would love for it to go, seriously, I swear to God in my heart. I would love for this to be a tough fight. I would love for Gwendolyn to hang in there. I would love to make it five or six rounds because I could get in some work, you know. I, I get tired of doing all this hard work and it's easy, but you know, if it's there, you know I'm going to get the knockout. I'm not going to let it pass. If I see it, I'm going to have to take it, you know. So, but either way, it's going to be a good fight, okay? Yes, I did. Thank, thank Layla went into her second fight with O'Neill with a higher knockout percentage than her father enjoyed. Since her first loss to Ali, O'Neill had fought three times and won, but the opposition was judged as less than stellar. However, the major criticism directed at Ali is that she's always avoided facing the most challenging contenders like Anne Wolfe, a woman who's held titles in four different weights simultaneously, or Vonda Ward. The now-retired Wolf is widely regarded as the hardest-hitting woman ever and rendered Ward, no slouch herself, motionless on the canvas in her 2004 title challenge. Ward was hospitalized after the bout. Nonetheless, Ali was a heavy favorite to beat O'Neill. The trip to South Africa also gave her the chance to meet Nelson Mandela. Her father and the former president have met on previous occasions, and both men are held up as advocates of international peace and understanding. It was also the first occasion in South Africa that a woman's bout topped a bill that also featured men's matches. The sense of history and the presence of Mandela was inspiring for Ali. The energy that I got from him is inspiration in itself. You know, I'm already a strong person, I'm already confident, but that just gives you a little extra, you know? So, I feel very special. Guyana's O'Neill also met with Nelson Mandela before the bout. The elder statesman took the opportunity to endorse women who have stepped forward to take their place in fields of endeavor that were previously the preserve of men. Ali successfully defended her WBC and WIBA super middleweight titles by knocking out O'Neill 56 seconds into the first round.